Hello everybody. Um, this is the material testing stage of the project. So uh, we have to do it a little bit differently this time, but that's okay. Um, I'm gonna do it for you and you guys are gonna see the results um, and you can fill your sheet in. And it will give you something that you can make your decisions on for your popsicle stick bridges. So the first test on your sheet is the compression test and we're basically testing the compression strength of a popsicle stick. So this is a scale and here's the popsicle stick and basically all we're going to do is squeeze it together and try and break it. I'll zoom you in so you can see the reading. Uh, I'm just using this block of wood to protect my thumb here. Put the block, the popsicle stick on. Alright, so this thing maxes at 6 kilos and we're at 6 kilos now. Is there any difference with 2? No. It's just a little bit, I mean you, you can't tell this in the video, but it's a little bit more easier for me to hold 2. It's a little bit more stable. With 1 it was kind of moving around a bit. So these things very strong under compression. Okay, so this is the shear strength test. So as you can see, I've got a paddle pop stick here that's attached to the table with a clamp and then I've got another clamp on here. The whole idea of this is to try and test how strong that little, the bit right next to the table that's unsupported is so how much weight will it take before it snaps? I've got another one set up here with a piece of cardboard that I'll do just to give you some context. Um, but this one's ready to go. So at the moment it's got one big clamp on it. And I'm going to chuck a whole bunch more little clamps on it. trying to pull that thread off the table to really test it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven clamps. Still going. what it looks like. Alright, so this is the piece of cardboard. Uh. Oh, okay, so it's given way. So that is broken, although it hasn't snapped, it's given way. So if I pull all the clamps off. You'll see it's not going to take anything. And if that was your bridge, um, it would be busted. So this is the bending strength test. So. Here we're just trying to see how far the material will bend before it gives way. Okay, so here is my little jig to measure. So zero degrees all the way through to 90 degrees. Take a popsicle stick, put it on top. So I'm going to put this piece on here and then I'm just going to bend it and see how far it goes. 10 degrees, snaps back. 20 degrees, snaps back. And it's still pretty straight. It's got a tiny bit of a boat, not much. Let's see if we can get to 25. Twenty. 
25 and you can start to see that it, it's forming a bit of a memory so it's keeping the bend a little bit and I can push it down and see if we can get to 30 no. I don't know if you can hear that but um, it's snapped so that's given way basically what happens if you put it the other way and you can see it won't break like I don't have the strength in my fingers to break it um, but it won't bend at all and if I put it up there you can see it's still pretty straight there's no gaps in between this and that just to give you some context here's a bit of cardboard and it's already gone at 10 okay so this one here is the tensile strength so we're basically trying to pull the stick apart from both ends pull it apart um, so if you see the setup here there's the vise is holding one end of the stick and the clamp here is holding the other end of the stick the reason why I've got this here is just to make sure the clamp stays in the middle rather than trying to go on one side because that would give a false reading um, and now we're going to try to see how many clamps this will take So that's, I reckon, at least 20. Here's a big, big one. Um, pretty strong. This is the stick straight out of the tensile jig. And it's actually looking pretty good. Like there's no real marks or anything on it. There is a little bit of an indent in there, but it's nothing really. Okay, so just for some context, there's a bit of cardboard. It's, it's wound quite tight in the vise so it doesn't just drop. Um, so, but I just thought a little bit of context. Pretty good, there's about 14 on there. Okay, so this is the gluing test, and this is just um, us practicing how we might glue the sticks together. Some paper first. This test, it's really you taking some time to um, have a go and see how it's going to, how your design will work. So I can't really sort of show you exactly what tests to do because you might want to start building uh, something, you know, your own. Like you might want to do a truss or um, an arch or some kind of suspension, which will all be different. Um, but what you can do is start playing with the glue and seeing what it's like. So I recommend, so one of the things you might have to do is like how do you make like a straight beam that crosses the whole section. So you might start like this. Okay, um, I'll give you a little tip as well. It does help to make sure things are together. So if you use like clove pegs, they will react like clamps. 
and they don't have much strength in them, but they've got enough to do this. So you might run your lengths like that. So I've got a little bit of overhang there. I don't know if you can see that. Or you might... Instead of running them like that, run them, you know, halfway. So you're never really exposed to, um, you know, just having one paddle pop stick there. Okay. Another question that you're probably going to come up against. Let's just say that's your bridge. How do you, you know, join things at a different way? So instead of all being flat, how do you make them, you know, stand up or stand up this way? So that is something that you'll probably want to have a play around with. And how do you do it in a way that keeps the strength without using so many popsicle sticks that your bridge basically becomes... Um, yeah, you can't do everything that you want because you're running out of sticks. One thing that you can do is do some tests and just take how long it takes to dry. It should take 24 hours for this stuff to dry. That's what I've always been told. Um, but another thing as well is once it's dry, what kind of effort does it take to break? So maybe you could do the one I did before with just the little bits at the end and then, you know, this one here where the join meets in the middle of the other stick and then seeing like what kind of force needs to be applied to break it. So is this one like a lot more force or is it hardly any more, hardly any uh, more force than the other one? Because if that's the case, you might be wasting sticks by doing this. Um, but that's a test that you'll need to do. That'll be a competitive advantage that you'll get from doing the test. Thanks for watching. The best idea now is to start getting the glue out, getting some popsicle sticks out, and some newspaper, of course, don't forget that, and start playing around with how you're going to join your sticks to get the design that you want. So it does help to have some kind of sketch before you start playing around, just so you know, like, how am I going to do this, how am I going to do that, etc., and then you can start playing around with the ideas. There's no point in testing something you're never going to use. Thanks for watching.